Welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about guns and ammo at the state capitol. My guest is Nancy Skinner, a member of the State Assembly from Berkeley. Thanks very much for being with us. Great to be here. So throughout uh, this entire year, you have, you've been carrying uh, one of the, the most important and the most significant um, pieces of legislation dealing with tr tracking ammunition, uh, conversion of guns to automatic weapons, and also uh, high-capacity magazines. You've had to make some changes. Yes. Well, gun violence, as we know, is sadly still an epidemic. California has better laws than most states around uh, gun regulation. But interestingly, the thing that makes a gun deadly, bullets, we have no regulation. So anybody can buy bullets anytime without showing ID. It's easier to buy bullets than alcohol, or even some cold medicines like Sudafed, which we regulate. So that's what we're trying to address. And so, so in terms of the, the ammunition, you want to set up a, I guess, a registry, really. And when ammunition is, is purchased, right. law enforcement knows about it. Yeah, we want to. Big quantities. The, um, we already have a registry for gun purchasers. And that's the background check. So we know <laughs> we have this list that the attorney general um, maintains. And if you're somebody who's not supposed to buy a gun, then you're prohibited because you, they get checked against that list, but not so with bullets. So we wouldn't create a new registry. We would use the same one. But if you went in to buy bullets, you'd show your ID, and there would be that check. And if you're on that prohibited list, then you also can't buy bullets. The other thing we want to sort of track is, are you trying to amass huge quantities of ammunition, say 6,000 rounds in a week period, as did the shooter in Aurora, Colorado and such? We want to track that. We want law enforcement to know. Of course, your opponents are saying, and this gets to a, back to uh, something you just alluded to a minute ago, that uh, there is a constitutional protection to carry a gun. There's not a constitutional protection uh, to, to buy Sudafed, getting back to your illusion. Yes, but there's also a constitutional protection for my right as and every other right of all citizens to be safe. And so we have to weigh those two constitutional protections. And also in the Constitution around uh, gun ownership says well-regulated militia. So for those of us who want safety in our communities, we appreciate that well-regulated. Now your bill uh, is broader than that. And so your, your bill is also dealing with the, the guns themselves. Well, we have a ban in California on assault weapons. But, you know, there's always ways to try to get around things. And we have available legally on the market these conversion kits that allow you to convert a regular gun into something that works like an assault weapon. So it allows you to shoot lots of bullets very fast. And we want to get rid of that because we, we, we didn't want assault weapons, so why do we want you to be able to convert your gun to work like one? And I know there, ever since that assault weapon ban uh, was imposed a number of years ago, there have been a number of loopholes that, uh, that individuals and companies have gone through. Yes, many loopholes. So we're trying to, to uh, shrink those loopholes you know, we know there's always going to be what's called a black market. People can buy them illegally places. But if we can limit the easy availability, hopefully we can then limit some of the gun violence. Well, we only have a few seconds left. Uh, your bill has been moving through the legislature. Should it get to the governor's desk? Do you have any idea what he might do with this? Because this, this governor is kind of hard to figure out on gun issues. Well, we have a couple of, beyond myself, Senator De Leon, Senator Hancock, Senator Yee, various others have. We have a package of bills around uh, improved gun safety. We'll have to see how the governor reacts. All right. Nancy Skinner, member of the State Assembly from Berkeley, thanks for coming by and talking about this important legislation. Great. And thanks to our viewers also for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on My Government On Demand, also on YouTube. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.